So I have a drugstore makeup haul for you guys. I've been wanting to test out some new drugstore makeup lately, see what I've been missing out on. There's been a lot of drugstore rotation recently, I feel like. So I wanted to kind of update my thoughts on some of the newer drugstore makeup. So let's get into it. If you saw any of my YouTube shorts, I did a super target shop with me kind of thing. This is that haul. These are the items. I have a couple other items that are not drugstore just because they're new. I thought I'd share with you. I have all of the items on my face so I can give you my first impression. So let's start off with the first thing that I picked up. This is from NYX. This is the Plump Right Back Plumping Serum and Primer. I did get the small size because it's more affordable, though I will say I feel like they put hardly any product in this, but the full size was like $20 and for something I'd never tried. And from the drugstore, you know, I wasn't going to pay $20 for that. But can I just say, what the heck is up with drugstore prices nowadays? <laughs> They're so expensive. I spent like $130 at the drugstore for these items which I think it's crazy but anyways I did use this primer on the right side of my face and so far I really like it it feels very nice and hydrating it gives a nice subtle glow to the skin as well and for those of you with dry skin I really like how it made my skin feel so so far I am really really liking this the last NYX primer that I tried was the marshmallow one I wasn't crazy about that one personally didn't notice it doing anything this is one that I feel like I actually do have benefits from from using this so so far so good remember all of today's video is, is just first impressions but so far a very very good first impressions NYX is known for their primers they have so many there's one that I really like the Hydra Touch so I was excited about this and I like it a lot the next primer that I picked up is from Neutrogena this is the radiant primer and serum so this looks like it's going to give kind of like a glowy effect to the skin I have this on the left side of my face and I think I like it. I did do it side by side with the NYX. I feel like they gave a different glow. The NYX almost gave a more glow from within kind of effect whereas the Neutrogena I could see the glow from the product. It wasn't as from within. It has a little bit more of a glowy actual pigment to it whereas the NYX the consistency itself leaves the glowiness and almost like the pigment of the Neutrogena. Trajita is what leaves the glowiness so it sits a little more on top of the skin. They both looked very good but the glows were different. As of now I would say the NYX is my favorite glow but the Neutrogena was very nice as well. It did feel nice and hydrating. I still felt like this consistency felt really nice on the skin, very hydrating. So, so far I do like this. I think it's nice but again I'm going to have to continue using this but so far a thumbs up. I also got to pair with that Neutrogena primer, the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation on my TikTok. I had one of my followers requesting that I try this foundation. So I don't really love the packaging. I feel like I had a hard time squeezing out the product. I felt like I didn't get enough. But other than that, I mean, this is a beautiful product. It does not give very much coverage. I have a little bit of not breakouts, but some bumps and redness on my face. And I feel like it didn't cover the bumps and redness. I have it on this side of my face. But the finish of it is so beautiful and smooth. It's very skin-like but glowy. It looks super healthy and fresh on the skin. So far in the first hour of wear, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, I'm going to have to like wear it out, see how it does over time. But first impressions with how it looks, it looks very nice. Just be aware you're not going to get the most coverage. I mean, that can be aided with uh, some concealer. But yeah, I really like this. It gives such a smooth, healthy finish to the skin nice and glowy so I really like this. The next product that I picked up was from Revolution Beauty. This is the Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I had never heard of this before and I use it on this side of my face. I'm not a fan of this. I love doing side by sides with foundations because they really tell the truth. This side of my face looks bad compared to the Neutrogena side to my face. A lot of times I'll do side-by-sides with foundations and I'll feel like I'll kind of look the same. I can see two very different foundations on my face. One is beautiful, one is not. I'm not a fan of this. So it's less glowy and dewy than the Neutrogena and a lot less smooth. It's totally emphasizing all the bumps and texture on my face, which is certainly what I don't want because I do have some bumps and textures, but this kind of smooths right over them. You can still see them but 
they're there. There's no hiding it. Whereas this just really makes them pop out. It looks really dry on my face. It emphasizes dryness. It's just not a good look overall. It looks heavy. It looks cakey. How can this skin tint look so heavy and dry on my skin, you know? <laughs> and I feel like if I had put this all over my face, well, I don't think I would have loved it. Definitely next to the Neutrogena, it looks so bad. This side of my face looks so much drier than the Neutrogena. So I will continue to use Use this a few more times. I'll use it alone with other products that I'm very familiar with to see what this can do. But as of now, first impressions, do not like this. This is a fail for sure. I did pick up a new concealer. This is semi new. This is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. I picked this up because I love the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. It's a very, very matte foundation, but I think it's one of the most long wearing and full coverage foundations from the drugstore. It's just amazing. It's one of the best. I wanted to pick up the concealer version. So I think there's some pros and cons. The pros is I feel like it really is a lightweight concealer. It doesn't really give us much coverage though while it does have a matte finish it does not remind me of the foundation because to me the foundation just had so much coverage I need to test this with some powders that I'm more familiar with because I suspect that this did look a touch drying on my under eyes because it is matte however my under eyes look pretty good right now once I put the powder over top so I'm trying to decide if the concealer maybe it's a little matte so it's not super hydrating but maybe once it sets down it looks really good or if the powder was just so good and this is a very drying concealer. I don't know. So I'm going to have to continue to test this, but I liked the consistency of it. It didn't give the most full coverage and there's potential where it's not super hydrating, but once it sets, it's good. It's not going to move, but there's also potential that it actually is just a very drying concealer. So again, I'm going to have to continue to update you guys. I got this in shade 25 and for the foundations, I just realized I did not mention, I will have them linked down below, but in the Makeup Revolution, I got medium and in the Neutrogena I also got medium and they're all pretty good colors for me maybe like a hint on the darker side but not bad <laughs> anyways this I think is okay still need to play with it not too sure the next item that I picked up from the drugstore I think is my all-time favorite item that I picked up today it is amazing. This is from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is the Ultra Cream Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light. So beautiful and smooth. I put it down before powder. It blended out beautifully. It, it, it was nice and pigmented, but the color that I got isn't like poopy or anything, and it blended into the skin beautifully. It looks really smooth on the skin. I'll have to test longevity on this because it was very malleable, so I want to see if it runs when I sweat and all of that. But I set my face with a little bit of powder, and I put a little bit of this over top because I felt like it got lost with the powder since the powder had pigment to it and it went beautifully over the powder didn't you know get gross looking so so far of all the items that I tried today this is the one item where I am like yes I'm, I love this this is definitely a hit from the drugstore and I have had not good experiences with Makeup Revolution products mostly misses but the occasional hit this is definitely a hit so I'm very very happy about this very smooth just an overall really great bronzer but we'll test wear time but yes I like it a lot I picked up two powders I am of the belief that a powder can change everything and make your skin look beautiful so the first powder that I picked up was from Revlon this is the photo ready blurring powder I got mine in the shade fair because I like to use lighter powders in the center of my face so I don't know when this was reformulated but I liked this powder back in the day but I didn't know much about makeup so I was curious what it would be like because it says new and improved so obviously back in the day when I used this which was years and years ago my perspective on makeup has changed I've tried hundreds and probably thousands of makeup products honestly at this point since the last time I've used that powder so I wanted to try it again and like I said I'm not sure if it was new and improved recently but I used it today with a sponge and I really like how it looked. Like I said, my under eyes look a little dry. Not sure if it's this powder or the concealer, but everything looks very smooth where I applied it. I feel like it really set in the makeup well. One of my favorite ways to apply these types of powders is with a damp sponge. Not dripping wet, you don't want to mess up the product. But there's something about the way a damp sponge just lays down and sets 
the product. It has a little bit of color to it, not too much coverage or anything, but nice enough to brighten up the center of my face. So, so far, I think I do really like that powder. The next product that I picked up, the last powder, is from NYX. This is the Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation. I have mine in the shade Nude. I haven't tried this as a powder foundation, and I don't think I ever will because I got a shade that was too light for me. But again, I'm really into using lighter powders on the center of my face. So I didn't give this one a fair shot today because I meant to do a half face with the Revlon and then a half face with this but I ended up putting the Revlon everywhere. I used a brush to kind of set it over top but honestly I can't really tell if it did anything or not. I'll have to use this separately but it definitely has more thickness and coverage to it compared to the Revlon. If anything I think the Revlon is more so just to finish off, brighten, whereas this for me it is a powder foundation so you can get coverage with it on its own. I don't see myself using it in that way but it is an additional layer of coverage when you're going for a full coverage coverage look if you want. I like the consistency of it but I need to test it out some more just to see my thoughts but I think I like it. Next up let's move on to the one product I picked up for my eyebrows. I picked up a lot of NYX stuff. This is highly recommended. I was seeing it everywhere. This is the NYX the brow glue and I really like testing those sticky brow glue kind of things. So this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be and I've got to be honest with you guys I, I don't get the I personally I don't really like the applicator it's like it's just a normal spoolie so I feel like it doesn't separate my eyebrows like I like for them to and this to me isn't like a glue my eyebrows have fallen with this product since the beginning of application I've already kind of bumped them up twice now and they still keep falling flat just like you see here and I had my eyebrows spiky before filming because I wanted to see if the brows would fall I don't normally wear my brows like this but to test this to see the efficiency of the product I really bump my brows up and you guys it keeps falling it does have a little bit of hold to the brows it's a nice way to brush them out and shape them a little bit that they don't go crazy but it doesn't give as much hold as I would like. To me, you're better off getting the ABH Brow Freeze or the Patrick Ta Brow Gel. I feel like those actually do hold the brows exactly where you put them is where they're gonna be at the end of the day. This, it only takes a few minutes and my brows fall. So I'm not completely sold on this product. I'll continue to test it, but it doesn't have the hold that I like. Let's see if my brows fall after this. But it's okay. I can see why people like it. But honestly, I don't know. My brows, they, they don't hold on to this. This doesn't make them stay. <laughs> I feel like already they're starting to fall down. They're no longer pointing straight up. I picked up one eyeshadow. Now, if you don't know my stance on eyeshadows from the drugstore, I am a snob. I feel like the drugstore eyeshadows ain't it. Okay, they're just not as good and I need to go high end with eyeshadows. But I was like, let me let me just try this new thing from Maybelline because Maybelline is one of my favorite brands. This is the Shadow Block. I got mine in the shade North 3rd Bedford Avenue. Is that the shade? I don't know. It's the neutral one, of course, because you can't mess up neutral shadows. Honestly, this is more plasticky and lightweight than it looked. But anyways, it's kind of like the Kaja eyeshadows. And there's three eyeshadows here. It's a square though, so it's not round like the Kaja. I mean, not a dupe for the Kaja at all. If I'm being honest, the Kaja is like really high quality. I love those. These are drugstore eyeshadows. You know, there's like a matte skin tone color. At least it matched my skin tone. That was fine. Didn't show up too much. This dark shade really doesn't hold too much pigment. I didn't get a lot of depth. I built it up. Look how dark it looks in the pan. Look how light it looks on my eyes. The shimmer was fine. It's on my lids, but we'll see with longevity because that's an issue with drugstore as well but it wasn't giving me it's not a bad product but it's it's not a high quality eyeshadow it's it's a drugstore eyeshadow it performs like a drugstore eyeshadow you can make it work it's not bad quality but it certainly is not good quality so it's not difficult to work with it just lacks the pigment and textures it needs to stick to the lid for color and longevity so yeah not a fan of this unfortunately I was told it was a dupe for the Kaja's the style itself is totally duping Kaja but the performance is not I finally I picked up two lip products from the drugstore the first one is from L'Oreal the glow paradise I don't even have the name of this on here 
It's like the Glow Paradise Lip Balm. I got mine in the shade 110 Pastel Exhalation. Okay, so at my Target where I got this from, everybody was using these. They were all open, so I had to get one that wasn't swatched. This wasn't even my first choice of color, but it's okay. The product itself, the color is fine as well, but not amazing. There's better lip balm products if you ask me. I think the consistency of it is a little too thin, so it does sink into the fine lines of the lips, which is more emphasized because I got one of the lightest shades. If you get a darker shade, it will be less noticeable, but because I did end up with one of the lighter shades, it was noticeable. So right now, I have it underneath the Rare Beauty Lip Pencil in Wise, and that helped a lot. But when I put this on my bare lips, it was not quite as flattering. It is somewhat hydrating, not the most hydrating. I Again, I would say this performs like a drugstore product. It's good enough. You can throw it in your purse. You don't care if you lose it. It adds color to your lips. What more could you want, really? But there is a difference, in my opinion, between a tinted lip balm that's high-end versus drugstore in this scenario. It's okay, but it's not the most hydrating. It doesn't smooth over the lips very nicely, but it works. I mean, it looks pretty on my lips. I'm going to continue wearing this throughout the day. So yeah. So next up and last from the drugstore, but I do have a couple more items. NYX. I got This Is Juice Gloss Electrolyte Infused Color Strawberry Flex. It's one of these glosses. I don't know. It was kind of Y2K-ish looking to me. I heard great things from you guys. And I love this. So the Strawberry Flex, first of all, smells so good. And I love the quality of this gloss so far. I'm not sure about longevity, but it looks so smooth over the lips. There's no stickiness to it. I'm going to assume, just based on the texture of it, probably not the most long-lasting gloss. It's virtually clear. Smells amazing. And smooths the lips and makes them look more plump. This gives me the finish that I was hoping that this would give me from L'Oreal. Obviously not as shiny and glossy, but in terms of how it just smooths and plumps over the lips. This is a really, really good gloss from the drugstore. This is something that I would like to keep in my purse because it's really comfortable. It doesn't have too much color. It smells really good. It's overall just a really pleasant experience. So I would actually be interested in getting more shades of this. I don't think they're going to have much color, but the scent is just so good. I'd like them for the different flavors. So yeah, I really, really like this. So that's all I got from Target. There were some hits and misses for sure. I would say my favorite products, this guy from Revolution, but I also really like the NYX gloss. These are definitely top two, but a lot more successful things like the Neutrogena foundation stood out to me, the NYX primer stood out to me, and then the Revlon blurring powder also uh, stood out to me. So I do have a couple more beauty items that I picked up that I thought I'd just throw in. I went to the cosmetic company store recently, which is discounted makeup from Estee Lauder brands. Pretty much they get discontinued or overstock and put it in a cosmetic company store. So I got this from MAC. I love these Glow Play blushes. They're kind of like putty blushes. I thought this shade was so pretty and it would be gorgeous for purple or blue, any type of cool tone looks. This is the Glow Play Blush in Totally Synced. If you have fair skin, I think this is going to be beautiful. It was a bit light for me. I did have to uh, build it up, but I do love the consistency of these blushes, the longevity, all of that. It also has a really pretty sheen to the skin, so this is nice. I like it. Probably not my favorite color that I own, but I thought it was gorgeous, and I can't wait to pair it with like a purple or pink eye. And then, now this is a steal of a deal you guys so i picked up the also from the cosmetic company outlet the joe malone fragrance it's a cologne in yuja i'm probably mispronouncing that joe malone is not a cheap brand but i got this for 36 dollars i think this is around 150 dollars normally 36 dollars for a, like a big full size what is this 100 milliliters for $36, Jo Malone. It has like a citrusy, lemony kind of scent to it. Not normally a scent that I love, but I did really, really like it. It's different from my collection. I feel like it would be really great for layering, but it smells so good for the summer. It's just a beautiful summer Floridian scent. My mother loves Jo Malone, so she got some of these as well. We went shopping together. So yeah, Jo Malone, really high quality fragrances. Very, very pricey. I don't don't normally spend too much when it comes to fragrance so I was
was excited. I got this deal on a Jo Malone fragrance. Now, if you're not familiar with what I like in scents, I'm like a teenager. I like cupcakes, vanilla, caramel, gourmand kind of scents. Really, really sweet. Also fruity as well. So citrusy is not normally a favorite of mine. This does sit really pretty on the skin and it smells good throughout the day. So yeah, very, very happy about that find. Had to share because if you have a cosmetic company store near you, it's worth checking out. All right, guys, there we have it. That is my haul of all my new drugstore makeup that I'm going to be testing. If you're new here, you will hear about these products again. I will continue to test them and I will put them in my next speed reviews video and you'll hear my thoughts as I continue to use them. You'll also be able to see in the description boxes of videos that I'm going to start incorporating these into my makeup looks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.